Hi, my name is Jimmy Dantak. I'm the Mining Campaign Coordinator for the Students for Freedom event. Uh, today we are here to protest the China Gold Annual General Meeting being held inside this building in uh, Vancouver, BC. Uh, we're here essentially to call on China Gold International to withdraw from its mining operations inside of Tibet. Mining activities in Gyeongma are leading to the poisoning of local water supplies and the degradation and desertification of the farmlands. Uh, these are all essential things for the Gyeongma people because they are an agricultural based society. So it is essential for their livelihood and their uh, sustenance. Last month in May, I was able to attend the China Gold Investors Presentation Update uh, in the uh, Hilton Hotel in Toronto, where I was able to speak directly with the Vice President Jerry Xia during the question period they held there. I asked the uh, Vice President what the company's response was to the uh, 2009 uh, protest of the Gyama population against the China Gold Mine. Well, I have here a uh, petition that was uh, put together by the Tibetan people after the 2009 protest, the day after the protest, and uh, the petition has been uh, translated from the original Tibetan into English. And essentially, what the petition asked for is the, uh, the what the Tibetan people asked for in the petition is for justice from the China Gold Mine for their role in the environmental degradation of their local area. We also have uh, photographs from the, uh, showing the uh, effects of the contamination of the local uh, population's water supply. Here we have a photo of a Tibetan man that has been, uh, who has fallen ill from copper poisoning from the effects of the uh, clean water being contaminated by the mine's uh, toxic uh, seepage. And there is a report in 2010 that uh, proves that there, uh, that there has been an increase of the uh, metallic uh, metals in the water stream. Uh, causing uh, the water stream to be uh, unsafe for drinking water. And now there's even uh, reports that there is actually toxic seepage from the mine that's leaking into the groundwater that the Tibetans now have to use. So there's a risk of contamination to their groundwater now in addition to their uh, surface water. So the last, uh, the last uh, evidence that we have is uh, this uh, reputational resource, uh, this reputational risk report that the SFT and also the CDC has put together recently. And the uh, report is fully cited and fully sourced. And it talks about the China Gold's um, role in the environmental degradation of the Yama Valley in Tibet. Uh, it talks about how China Gold is contributing to the political oppression of the Tibetan people in Yama. Uh, also, it also talks about how China Gold lacks consideration for the Tibetan people uh, in Yama. And also their role in the uh, relocation, the forced relocation of Tibetan nomads and farmers due to their expansion, due to the expansion of their mining operations. And lastly, it talks about how China Gold is in cooperation with Banro Corporation, which is a corporation that is known to engage in many uh, unethical uh, mining practices. So this uh, report we uh, we put together because we hope the investors will uh, take a look at it and uh, take, uh, reconsider their uh, investment in China Gold.